Well, here we are everybody. Promised we'd be first with the roof Desmo. It's just come out the van. George is going to give the 57 and the 58 a try. He claims it's a 57. I claim I'm a 58. So we're just going to check whether the sizes are okay. The first thing you notice about the roof Desmo that's better than the normal boxer is that the boxes it comes in don't fall apart. The second thing is that it comes with its own parachute. So basically a strap on so you can throw it over your shoulder and uh, tangle it in your handlebars or not drop it when balanced on the tank on the way home. So the colours that are available are black, white, red, silver, anthracite and the two they call deco. This is supposed to be a deco orange I think. No deco red. So this is the 325 quid option. That's the packet of giblets that comes with it like the Christmas turkey. No idea what's in it. Well, we'll find out at a later date. Ah, yeah. And here we go. We're going to close in on the opening mechanism, which is two fingered. So you have to, which probably works in south of France where it's never cold, but might not work quite so well in England. So it's finger and thumb to open, and then it flicks all the way back. So what size is this? 58. 58. Right, lob it on, George. Tell me how you reckon that fits compared to the boxer. The George uses a 57 Daytona normally, which is the full face version of roof. Mm. Um, and he's probably on the small side of medium, and I'm the kind of medium side of medium. Let's go. How's that feel? Snug. Snug, but really. Size, yeah. yeah. Okay, so in fact. Uh, I think when I tried one on the sides of the helmet, on the, the internal sides of the helmet, it felt slightly harder than the boxer. Mm. That's why it's making it feel snugger. Maybe there's not so much padding over the mechanism, not sure. Yeah, it's, it's quite open in the shell, but... Tight on the forehead, quite, right. Flip, flip it down, just check it out. That's it, so it's one-handed. Pop it up if you can, see if you can sort that out. Oh, yeah, right. so it's just like a normal flip-up helmet in the ease of which it opens but unlike a normal flip-up helmet it pivots all the way back do us a pirouette there it is right the way around the back okay let's have a look at the 57 um, so verdict at the moment is that the new Desmo could feel a tiny bit smaller than the equivalent size in the boxer now, so that's uh, that's called a red and white deco let's go for the orange pilot now the orange pilot has the distinction of being unavailable in a 58 at the moment because apparently all the French have fallen for the orange graphic look um, but pretty much everything else is available if you call very soon if you call at the end of next week it probably won't be no black white black gloss pearl white gloss red gloss, anthracite and silver, that's a silver and an anthracite, two different versions apparently, although we haven't taken them out of the box yet, five plain colours and two graphics we've got in almost every size at the moment, but by the end of next week that could all be different. So that is the orange, uh, white, silver graphic, you can see why it's sold out, it's pretty damn lush. Go on, lob that on George before the camera goes flat and for customer walks in, though that's not very likely as it's pissing down and before I run out of things to say <laughs> right yeah you can see straight away that looks a bit more perched on his Swede which means it's a bit too small mm. does it feel tight sides or yeah, it's yeah. very tight there. Right, take that off. I'm going to try it on. You grab the camera and I'll see how it fits on me. Yes, yeah, so this is a swap over, baton changing. <laughs> right. Still got my earpiece in, shorts on, pen behind my ear. So all, uh, yeah, rock and roll. Hmm, that feels kind of tight on the top of my head, but not tight on the forehead. Mm. 57. I would. I tried a 57 boxer 
thinking I could get into a smaller size and I couldn't. But actually I could get into this. That just shows you how different people's heads are and how, in a way, irrelevant the way the manufacturers measure them are because I found it difficult to get into a 57 boxer, yet this feels quite comfortable. George has got a 57 Daytona, but he thinks he needs a slightly bigger size. Mm. So the moral of the story, the moral of the song is come to the shop and try one on. Right, let's go 58. Jibble <coughs> it out. This should feel significantly bigger, but it will undoubtedly be the same shell size with less padding. Which is why extra small helmets always weigh more than extra big ones. Mm. Hmm, tricky. That does feel comfortable. Mm. I have to say, back to back, I would probably go for the 58. There's no pressure anywhere on the top. And it's definitely one handed. It might not be one finger getting it off. Might not be any fingers at the front. Yeah, it's definitely an acquired technique. Yeah. But easy once you know how. So, visor down, visor up, all the way back. When you think how incredibly ugly a shark Syncrotec is compared to this, and how shark claimed that it had to be that ugly, makes you realise what an amazing job Roof have done with this helmet. Because um, the shark works incredibly well, but feels much heavier than this and uh, build quality doesn't feel as good and of course it's just not good looking like me. Rock and roll. All right.